Are you vlogging? Yeah. So me and Hannah are committing to doing something intense this uh, year. Right, Hannah? Here. Yes. Right? There are consequences if we can't do it. This is not focusing on you at all. Hold on, hold on. Hi! So, okay, consequences. Are there consequences if we can't do this? So basically, we're saying we want to post once a week forever, right? Forever. <laughs> There's no end date, so it's forever. At least until I graduate, I graduate college. That's what, six months? That's December. December, like, so... New year, like the end of the year. So starting September, I can't think of the month that comes after September. October! November, December. So December, four October, months November, of December. posting months, once a yeah. week. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 videos. That's not even hard. Let's just do that. I like your 16 videos isn't hard ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, now it's recorded and it's going at the beginning of my video. Ha 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 ha. We can either have a weekly consequence and we can also have like a whoever has the most videos by that time. I don't know, guess something or like... So then if we don't post, then we have to eat something gross and film it and put it on YouTube? I Ooh. said go to church. You said go, she said go to church. That's our consequence. All right, I'm signing off of this video right now, Bye. but not your video. Oh my God. Clearly wearing pajama pants. Um, I just got back from workout class, but this is the only place in my room or in my entire apartment that currently has any sort of good lighting, which is sitting in front of my bathroom with the light from the bathroom like shining onto me. But I wanted to make a quick unboxing video. I'm in Greece right now, um, living it up, wearing these outfits. Hopefully they're cute and hopefully that, you know, when I try them on, they're good. And I bought these packages. Um, all from American Eagle. They were having a pretty good sale. So I have a lot of stuff to open and a lot of stuff to put on my body and film. So let's start with the smallest package um, from American Eagle. And my little scissors, so let's go. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. So to open terror along her brain. <gasps> I'm so excited. So this is the two-piece little outfit that I'm really, really, really excited for. Um, I wanted this really bad. It's like a cute little off-the-shoulder number um, with a little tie thing in the front, a drawstring. And then that comes with, I mean it doesn't come with, it's like a separate purchase, but these cute little shorts that have like flowiness. I'm really excited to try this on. This was like the one outfit I was the most excited about after I bought it. All right, how do we feel about this? I think I kind of like it. Like. This is the one I was the most excited about. It's definitely out of my color range that I normally wear, which is black. Um, we're gonna go in for this giant one now. Okay, so this has a lot of stuff in it. Stacked up, girl. I'm gonna start off with my other two-piece little outfit because the two-piece outfits are everything and what I was most excited about because I've never had one in my whole life. Um, <clears throat> this is the little yellow number. I keep calling them numbers like I'm a grandma. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at how cute. Oh my god. So that one, the orange one comes with shorts. This one comes with a skirt. I mean, it doesn't come with, but like that's the matching item. I was kind of hope, secretly hoping it was shorts, but this skirt is really, really cute. I don't like it because I feel like it accentuates my gut. I just don't feel comfortable, like, which is sucky because it is a cute little two-piece number, but this one's gonna go back. This one is a cute little, everything's little because I'm a little, just kidding. No, everything's little because it's gonna be hot AF in there, but this is like a crop top off the shoulder and does this not scream grease to you? Like, so you, I was gonna say you can't tell, but I don't think I can tell either if this is navy or black, but I think it's black. This top, I think I got a size too big to be honest because, so like it just feels like a weird length. Like if I go up a little more and let it bubble over, it's kind of cute and I'm, I feel very indecisive about this. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna be impossible to see. It's a black romper. I'm gonna have to put this one on. It's very flouncy in the shoulders, which is not normally my forte. The front has this lacy section on it. I don't know. I'm like 65% sure this is not supposed to be an off the shoulder romper, and it is. What? It's like, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be worn like this. Am I just wearing it too high because I'm a psycho and I like don't want to show my whole boob? And I can wear a real bra with this unless it goes like that and everyone just sees my salsa moves. I don't know. We're gonna go for uh, this blue, it's like a teal tank, crop tank. It's okay. I really like this online because I saw the color and I was like, oh my god, it's so vibrant and it's gonna look so nice in Greece. But honestly, now that I'm seeing the color in person, it's not as vibrant. I mean, I'm not hating it, but I'm not, I'm not obsessed with it. And I literally hate it. I think it looks so bad. But look how it flares out. It gives me like a weird cutoff. Get all my garbage in the same area. This is, <gasps> ooh! I forgot about this and I'm really excited. So this is also a little bit flouncy, but I love the color and I am I love the cut. And I already know because I saw it online and I love it. Um, it's a longer wide leg thing. You're never gonna be able to see what this looks like with me just holding it up, but it's I'm excited to try this on. I think it's gonna be super cute and it has straps, which I think is important. So this clearly needs to get ironed a little bit on the side, but we'll ignore that. But I'm obsessed with this. Like, I think it's super cute. It's just really see-through, but like the leg length, let's see if I can back up far enough. Can you see me from over there? I think that the leg length is really cute. I'm gonna look at how much it was and make sure it's like reasonable, but to keep it if it's so see-through. We have, this is so much stuff. Ooh, this is another romper. This one's off the shoulder. I know I just said I like straps, but this one's cute. It has, I mean, you can see it. You can honestly see it better than I can see it. But it has little like holes in the shoulders. So it's a cold cold shoulder, but off the shoulder. I don't know how that works, but it's gonna be cute, hopefully cute on. But I put this on, I gasped because it just screams grace to me. And I am keeping this one 100% and I think it's so cute. I mean, it's not my normal style, but it's my style on this vacation. The sleeve detailing, a little bow, this little opening that makes it look like it should be like that, but not. Keeper. Ooh! Okay. What? Okay. I'm not hating this. It's very confusing though. There's a lot going on. Okay, so there's a little back tie. So it looks like this. Boop. It's another little romper. This one has sleeves, thank God. Um, it has a little claspy in the front for the boobies. Um, it's cinched in the waist. It looks kind of big, to be honest, but you know, when I put it on and it's not too big and it might be too small, then I'm gonna hate the fact that I said that. All right. Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm facing every problem that every girl has with big boobs. Why? Like, I was disappointed because the back is so cute. But, and like the side, so cute with these sleeves, obsessed. And then this happens, like, there's no way I'm wearing this backwards. And then if I unhook it, it's like way too aggressive. It obviously like looks weird. Like it's not like I can fix it by being like, oh, let me just sew it. The next thing is this. This is the one thing that I bought that I was kind of like, am I gonna like it? How much is this? This was 20 bucks. I don't know, that seems a bit aggr aggressive. But I thought, okay, I thought, and it's inside out? Maybe I did that, but what? Okay, I haven't been able to even look at it because it's inside out. It looks like this. It's okay, we'll see. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the bottom, this part where it's like gonna cinch onto me, and it kind of looks big again. I mean, I'm not a tiny girl, but like, look at these arms. <sighs> But this looks kind of massive. I don't know. Maybe I'm being um, overly aggressive with this because it might not be massive. So this is the top that I said I thought looked really big. And I 
kind of have to agree after putting it on. It feels like it's literally just gonna fall right off of my shoulders and it's not supposed to be an off the shoulder shirt. I honestly think this would be cute if it fit me, like, but it's just obviously way too large. So this one's going back. You know, we're gonna open this for shits and gigs because partner's not here. But essentially the partner is a pair of pants um, that are the same fabric. But this is like a little tie top that. So I'll try this top on for y'all, but because I've tried on tops like this that tie in the front before. And they're cute, but they're not cute on me. So yes, that. First of all, look at all this exposed stomach. I don't want this much exposed stomach if I'm not wearing a swimsuit. And then second of all, it just makes my boobs look like mega saggy. And I don't know, it's not supposed to be like that. Like, I don't know. This is like the normal size I wear too. It just is so, it's bad, it's going back. This would look cuter, I think, <clears throat> on a girl with a smaller frame or smaller boobs or something. It just not, I've seen it on the models. They look cute. This is just not for me. It's not for me. So that was everything from American Eagle. Yes, I transitioned into a different black shirt because I can't find the one I was wearing at the start of the video because my room is now a disaster zone. But I just wanted to say thanks for joining me. Probably like more than half of all of that stuff is going back to the store. So I'm going to be having a great time in Greece. Follow me on the social media as it's Chloe Wheel Got without the middle E. They'll be in the link in this, they'll be in the description below as well. So you can check out what I'm doing. I'll be there for like two weeks and keep checking back on this channel because I'm posting once a week starting now um, until the end of the year and think about doing Vlogmas. So you don't want to miss any of it. Like and subscribe and um, I'll check you later. Ew, I hope that's not my new catchphrase. <laughs>